All right, here's a quick little video uh, over on Reddit on the 3D printer uh, section there. M8 in the eight, I don't know how to pronounce your username, posted this cool little tip suggesting that for your 3D prints to get them off the build plate, uh, one cool idea would be to use floss. Emma was saying that actually works really well for him. So I'm gonna try and use my trusty Metro card that you can see is beat to absolute hell. Um, I'm gonna stick this under one of the corners here to get it going like he suggested and then I'm just gonna run my <laughs> run my uh, floss underneath it here uh, let's see okay this isn't working so well <laughs> Um, let's see. All right, there we go. I've got it around both sections there. Let's see if I can just pull it down. It's nice and minty, which is nice. So let me just pull it. God damn, this is like on there. I like the concept, man, but uh, for me, this is not working. Oh my God. Ugh, I cannot get it through the rest of it there. And I've got strings of uh, that through there. Hey, at least it loosened it up for me a good bit. And I'll use my trusty Metro card here. See if I can get it through the rest of the way. You can blame it on MakerBot, you know? Damn. Oh, sorry, let me not. Okay. Woo! There we go. <laughs> Took up a good amount of the uh, material as well. Uh, printed this with uh, supports and rafts. I normally don't print rafts, but for this piece, I did for some odd reason. Uh, but cool concept, man. Didn't work for me. It looks like it's working for some other folks. Uh, give it a try if you have a 3D printer. Um, I prefer my Metro card that's beat to hell still. I do need to get a new Metro card. <laughs> or just use one of my newer ones uh, for this. All right, thanks again for watching, you guys. Bye now. And thanks for the tip, man.